Gemini Soul Travelers, blessings and welcome to Venusian Empress Oracle. You are joining Priestess Melissa and we are here to do your weekly reading using the Star Temple Oracle card to get your main message. We will then tap into the Light Seers Tarot as well as the Vice Versa Tarot. Now bear in mind that these are general messages. They may or may not resonate with you. If any part does though, thank you so very much for hitting the like button as it does help the channel to grow and to keep the messages circulating. We have an Ace of Swords energy coming out with a Death and Rebirth energy. So some kind of truth you may be learning about today, Gemini, will help set you free, if you will. It will definitely give you the answer that you need to make the decision that you may need to make all surrounding your happiness. Now, don't forget to watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign videos to get a clear overall message of what may be going on for you. Maybe time to get out of a situation that perhaps isn't quite so happy anymore. Um, or seeing before you get too far in, right, kind of thing. And if you guys need a personal reading, don't hesitate to reach out to me at venusianways.org. Now we will also be getting advice messages, first from the crazy sexy love message cards, and then of course we always get love messages here on Venusian. Woo! What is going on, Gemini? Huh. So we always get love advice. Maybe that's what you're all worked up about. 144, I just saw on the timer. Interesting. Okay, so we will get love messages. Could be all around a power struggle, perhaps, here today for you. And see what's going on for you for the week ahead. Don't forget your, to get your burning question ready, my dear Geminis, because we will absolutely get an answer for you at the end. We will flip the coin, the divination coin, and see what is going on. So, for my beautiful Gemini soul travelers, show us, dear angels, ancestors, way showers, and guides, what we need to know. Thank you so very much. Shout out to my dear Geminis. Thank you so very much for all of your love to the channel and support with your likes, comments, shares, and donations. Definitely let me know how these readings are resonating with you in the comment section below. I love engaging. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification as I put out a total of 19 videos, guys, every single week. One each for the zodiac signs and a daily soul traveler check-in. So show your girl some love if you don't mind. Let us see what is going on for you, Gemini. For Gemini. So we have the Lapis Lazuli star. So Lapis Lazuli is going to be a good energy for you to work with as well as the Ruby, apparently, because we're working on our flow and perhaps tapping into our third eye energy here because I do feel like you're really trying to get in your flow, but perhaps something is blocking you. I embody my authentic and sensual essence. So who you truly are and then we have the Empress of the night with finale after the storm I emerge a shiny new star I do believe you are seeing something at this time and you are perhaps making a decision as we were seeing you know as far as honoring your value and worth and so after going through something that perhaps was very devastating and tough for you you are absolutely, through this process, becoming an even brighter star, Gemini. You are beautiful. Let's look into this a little bit more. Now, the starlight energy of Lapis Lazuli Star 35 coming to an 8. So that's all about that infinity energy, right? My inner vision guides me to my higher purpose. What is that higher purpose for you, Gemini? All right, so what is this finale? And what is this higher purpose? Let's look at your card and see what it has to say for you today. 
So star words around the lapis lazuli are insight, perception, and passion. The lapis lazuli star inspires personal and spiritual power. This energetic vortex reveals inner truth, encourages self-awareness, and promotes self-confident, intuitive expression. The lapis lazuli crystal is known to open the third eye chakra and balance the throat chakra. So this works on both, or you can put one on both while you're doing this work. It transmutes, sorry, it stimulates psychic sight and enhances dream recall and interpretation. Beautiful, I love that. So wear or put some under your pillow, lapis lazuli. They have beautiful um, head chains that you can get and also necklaces, earrings even, that would help with connecting the two areas. All right, so wear or place lapis lazuli at the throat to Amplify clairvoyance and visualization. Funny, I was just telling you about all that. It's cool that they do tell you though. In collaboration with the third eye, this crystal clarifies psychic and mediumship connections. So this is gonna help you to tap in even more. I was listening about this in like ancient, um, you know, just cultures, Egypt and things like that, but they wore specific crystals in their ears, around their neck, and even on their head, right? To make that connection in particular ways or, you know, um, to draw in more of that intuitive and psychic ability. Very interesting, yes. So, this uh, increasing contact with the spirit realm for sorry so as you do this you are increasing contact with the spirit realm for healing messages so you're going to get the messages that you need perhaps you're going to see what you need to see to make a decision perhaps to cut something out a finale of course you know energy here and again honoring your essence honoring who you are and perhaps ending something a foundation with that red energy um of the ruby coming out. All right, let's see what's going on here. So pen, 10 of Pentacles energy. This could be something, you know, I was hearing that I don't care about the money. I just have to get out of this situation at this point. Yeah, definitely a lover's situation coming out here. Maybe somebody that went hard and fast with you, got you all caught up. Maybe, you know, even the money, you know, you felt like this would be, this person wasn't so bad and you felt like, very inspired with this person at one point but now it's like you're running from them what is that one song once i ran to you now i run from you this tainted love you've given <laughs> i gave you all i could give you take my tears and that's not nearly all tainted love oh tainted love <laughs> anybody resonating with that song all right so let's see what's going on for you what are you needing to know gemini Ooh, the wheel hey i like that spinning in your favor you on top of things right here <laughs> maybe you singing this song to somebody i don't know you guys could be that old to know that song Somebody who definitely broke your heart, right? In the past, Queen of Cups in reverse. They definitely did a number on you, but you see through the BS now. You saw, you see all the burdens that this person has caused and you definitely are leaving that all behind. You, Like I said, I really feel like you've been down this road before with this person type of energy. Absolutely. This is the finale. You're absolutely walking away this time is what I feel with this energy, Gemini. Honoring your value and worth. Again, you understand the where, where you need to go and it's certainly going to bring you a lot more happiness and freedom. Yeah, you definitely may be feeling a lot better at this point. Maybe at one point you may have been hung up about this situation. 
um, and really love this person, but I hear give no fucks at this point. <laughs> All right, so Queen of Cups in reverse. What do we need to know? Yeah, you're holding back because this person, if this is someone trying to come back, definitely did a number on you, but you have uh, closed the curtain on this situation, right? Tower energy as well as the Queen of Pentacles. No more giving your time or energy to this person. You have closed. It's like Fort Knox. The bank is closed. <laughs> closed to any kind of toxic energy, <laughs> right? You're like, no the hell, thank you. I do not want any more of that business ever again. <laughs> this person that may have been, you know, giving very little in the past, you know, or only as much as they had to give. And you were constantly like, what's going on here? You know, I've been in those relationships. Why is everything changing up now all of a sudden? <laughs> Some of Wands energy. Yeah, you quickly saw that this was just a deceptive person. The mask is off, you know what I mean? Eight of Swords in reverse and Seven of Swords. You see this person sneaking away even. <laughs> and you're like, no worries, you don't have to sneak away, I'm leaving. <laughs> That's what I see with this energy. You've already been making your plans, is what you're saying. Putting your boundaries up. You were already in the process of doing this, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, because this person is just confusing. Maybe they don't want you to leave. They see now, perhaps, your value. You know, but if you stay with this person, you're definitely going to stay confused. You know, this person is never going to come correct. You know, keeping your nose to the grindstone, going in the direction you're going, moving away from the bullshit. You know, that's the best way to go with these confusing situations. Just, okay, dude, you don't want to make any sense. You know, you just want to be confusing. Fine, I'm out of here. We're not doing this anymore. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. All right, so don't expect anything from me, basically. All right, let's see what advice is coming out for you, Gemini. You are so spicy and saucy and all of that, you know? I'm down though, I understand. People literally, you're like, I'm standing right here, you know, while they're lying to you or talking about you or whatever, you're like, we literally know that you're lying right now so why are we doing this you know I can just see somebody out there saying that yeah definitely time to get away from this energy and unplug perhaps unplug your phone don't answer any other messages or anything of that nature hell get away on a vacation if you can is what I'd say that's what I'd love to do right now that looks amazing recharge your soul batteries by unplugging from the digital world Connect with yourself by disconnecting from distractions such as other people's to-do list. Take a stroll. The best way to generate fresh and innovative ideas is to balance the virtual and natural world. So you need to go for a walk, you need to get outside, you need to leave your phone behind and you know or put it on airplane mode and just play some music or something. Not something that's going to make you think about them of course. The birds and the trees have just as much to teach you as the internet. Yeah, so don't even listen to music. Just uh, leave your phone in the car while you go for a hike or something like that. That's what I would do. Um, yeah, but it's time for you to just not entertain this. Energy is what I'm hearing any longer. You literally like, you can see what you need to see and that energy of the lapis lazuli is going to help you not only to see but to also speak confidently to end this you know finish him <laughs> you know is what i heard with that mortal combat energy right you could be thinking that too right now this is some difficult energy to deal with so this says look inside yourself examine what is causing you to feel this way all right, whether that be thinking about this person or um, whatever it is, you know, what confused you about them to keep you from being able to get back into this energy. What's causing you to perhaps even consider perhaps going back to this person? 
So this energy says, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Beautiful, I love that energy. So definitely the unplug energy. It's time to pull away from other people's energy, expectations, whatever, you know. You've got no time for BS at this point, especially past people that you know are no good for you and don't deserve your time, right? 15, 15 coming out. All right, ready to get your question answered? Here we are. We're going to do it in... All right, let's see if I got it right. Here we go. Three, two, one. There we go, guys. Here is the answer to your question. It is no, boo. I hope you got the answer that you needed, Gemini, because this is what came out for you. But I do wish you a wonderful week ahead, my beautiful Geminis. And thank you so much for hitting the like button, subscribe, and bell notifications. I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.